We arrived at Hazy View yesterday and already enjoyed a spectacular escarpment flight around the Graskop area earlier in the morning. Today we're headed to the Blyder River Canyon hoping to see one of South Africa's most iconic landscape sites from the air. But first we have to fuel up the plane and the Little Pilgrims Hotel staff were kind enough to give us a lift into town to go get fuel. As you traffic in your are now rolling runway 01 of the takeoff left and out. Climbing a 5,500 routing to Roscoe. You're doing it, Charlie. There's been some life. Our fame is good. Almost took off there. There's a couple of nature reserves here, so the same as the, the other flights we did this morning, we're not going to fly over any nature reserves, we're going to strictly stay out of them, but we will be skirting along the edges of the Blyder Canyon Nature Reserve, as close as we can get legally, but we're not going to go over it. Well, we're doing a nice cruise line at 300 feet per minute, 75 miles an hour. What was I saying? Oh, we're 4,300 feet now. We need to be at least 5,500 feet before we cross the escarpment. The visibility isn't super good. I hope we get a good view of the lighter canyon. And this is space. I'm not sure if it's um, smoke or just a haze. I don't know. So we've got a 15 mile an hour headwind now. Out of that direction, which is the direction we don't want it from. So I'm going to make sure we climb past 5,500 uh, before we cross the escarpment and also I'm going to cross it at a 45 degree angle. Okay. We're at our cruise height. Very nice. Pretty. Very blurry. Low level traffic, Kraskop area in the Juliet Charlie. So this may be overhead, Kraskop. 6,000 feet uh, routing north to the west of the Blyder Canyon Dam in Indigenous Holy. Is it called the Blyder Canyon Dam? I think it's actually Blyder River Sport Dam. Blyder River Sport Dam. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Blyder River Sport Dam. That's the best I can do. <laughs> And we're going to fly 5,900, so we're not going in the respect territory TMA, but if we do, we can talk to them. Uh, that we are one, one to six decimal four, so let's put that in our secondary. In case we want to climb more. Waterfaller. I hope your camera is going to be here, so it's mooi hoor. That's a waterfaller was. Berlin Falls. Yeah. I think it's going to be a roof as you were. Yeah, it's a roof, man. A lot of smoke. Seems like fires are an uh, everyday thing here. Uh, every afternoon, there's fires. There's some downdrafts now. You knew what is in yes. Yeah. There's some work in the bar. And it's starting to look pretty. Blue dude. Blue dude.
have a lot of daylight left and we don't want to push it. Sunset is actually quarter past five now because it's in the middle of the, our winter which means it's now an hour before sunset so we need to head back and then we can do another cliff dive. So basically the reason we were we wanted to stay outside of the nature reserve is inside the, the reserve is a 1,500 feet minimum altitude limit over the highest point of the reserve. That means in order to fly over the reserve lower than 8,300 feet. Now there will be a lot of people that actually say no that's not true, there's no rule like that. But um, there is a special document of um, um, Kumalanga Nature Reserve something something rules that explicitly states in order to fly lower than 1,500 feet above the highest point of the reserve. So seeing as I'm putting this on YouTube, I want it to stay 100% legal for this flight. Okay, so we just got back from our most spectacular Blyder Canyon flight. It was absolutely amazing. So tomorrow morning early we're going to head back. But it's not just going to be a flight back, it's going to be uh, an interesting one. Because we're going to fly up the valley from here to Sabi, and then we need to cross the ridges. So it's, um, it's going to be a low level flight. So we're going to fly along the, uh, the, the Sabi River up to Sabi, and then uh, we're gonna, probably going to circle a few times and then we're going to cross the uh, escarpment. And then from there it should be a fairly straightforward flight back.